national disclosure of a major safety concern that's been covered up and dismissed. I have the report from the NTSB from 1992-93. It's called wheel offs. There is no national database. They track the Kata airbags killing people, which have killed 11 people and they have massive recalls. But I have people getting killed like Sergeant, look him up in California by a flying tire from a trailer. I have a woman getting killed in Richmond, Virginia, Williamsburg, in front of her husband and family by a flying tire and trailer. So I call this killer wheels. This tire came off a FedEx truck. When a trailer comes back or a tracker trailer comes back, it can still operate with a missing wheel. These trucking companies do not disclose and do not keep track and or they might keep track internally but they do not keep track to a government agency to determine what's going on this tire came loose in front of me almost hit me on 64 i-64 richmond virginia doing an uber ride at two o'clock in the morning it took me a day and a half of nighttime uh, covert operations to find out where the tire went to I found it, then I had to roll it to a spot where I could pick it up on the side of the road, risking my life on 64. And then you don't really realize how heavy this thing is. So I had to pick it up and put it to my minivan to get the evidence. Now this tire here did not fail from a spindle. There's a couple issues going on with spindles that I knew about that a company president has finally agreed that I am right. The person I spoke to indicated that he thinks uh, there's about a 50,000 of these things happening a year. I put it close to a, more than a hundred thousand if we had good monitoring, but there isn't. So this here is a metal, metal alloy defect. What happened was the rim, whether it's from a junkyard or whatever, over time becomes a halo effect. You can see that each hole of where the studs is, this one here is the only one, it probably snapped off. This is a metal defect, very clear, metal defect. Now this was a space shuttle challenger, it's parked. The government would come to my home and already retrieve it to determine what happened to the space shuttle. I've been asking my politicians, including my congressman, that I have evidence in my backyard. This is my backyard and they don't want to come get it because they don't want to know but yet they're gonna go at the gas stoves. So I demand going forward that there's be a national database and every company who experiences a wheel off must disclose to somebody like myself, which then I can report to Congress because people are getting killed by flying tires. I have suppression by lawyers who are getting huge settlements, but they're making the families sign NDAs to not become an advocate for other people getting killed by flying tires. I have one, her name is Jennifer Thomas in Georgia. The lawyers refuse to talk to me because they are more interested in getting, well, they're supposed to, as much money as they can for the victim. And if the company says, sign the NDA and you get this much money, then they have to do it. But I'm the person who they are not happy with because I am hurting somebody. That's why my websites and my YouTube channel was systematically wiped off the internet, except for the website called Wayback Machine. Anyway, so there's my evidence. And I am asking for help because all my creditors are coming after me and I'm gonna take this video to court and show the judge I believe in saving lives is more important than a credit score. How many would you agree? But yet we have like a, uh, a DA in Maryland who abused the COVID money and took all that money for herself and bought a home and a condo in Florida. And she's a uh, district attorney for the state of Maryland. But yet these people in the know know how to get the money but yet they quash people like myself who's trying to save lives. That's the dilemma we have in America. 
and that's why we're so dysfunctional. I have all the links on the bottom, and I will add to them more to prove, and the cover-up of the lawyer in Georgia who is suppressing Jennifer Thomas' family uh, from coming forward because of money. That's the way it is. I refuse to accept this. DangerousTrailers.org and Killer Wheels.